Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to the survey. Previously on the survey, we woke up in this strange house. We walked around for a while, and while spooky things really went down. Okay, I highly suspect... We're going down there with the angel. Like, I'm pretty sure... That's the goal. It's, it's worse now because the save reload and there's no lights. So I can't use the lights to kind of guide me of where she may be. I might go downstairs, see if I can dangle something here. That just makes it spookier. At least, even if it's flashing, I might be able to get some shadows. Tell what's going on. Okay. Shh. Shh. Fuck. Marcus, we're a murderer. Okay. Coming from this room. Can't even get past that angel even if you want to. It seems fine. Close the door. I just push, just push past you. Did we already get that note? I swear we got that note already. Yeah. Ah, the save put us before that. I see. I see what's supposed to happen. The reason the angel spawns up here is you're not supposed to necessarily be downstairs when that goes on. You're supposed to be kind of up here, and you like bump into the angel really quick. It appears behind you, in a sense. This game is really unnerving. I just wish it did not crash so often. Gotta be careful, that's the static. Okay, we're gonna lock the door. It's not unlocking. It's for downstairs. That's certainly starting to bother me. I'm gonna just turn it off now at this rate. Okay, here we go. Ain't good. Could be worse. Read the note. Love note number three. I hate painting. Mom and Dad make me want me to finish one piece a week. Music. Take me anywhere from eight to twelve hours a day for me to meet that quota. On top of going to school. I tried to tell my dad to slow things down, but he wouldn't listen. Yeah, I tried to stand up to them. I tried telling him, telling my, my him, that I didn't want to have the right to call, didn't have the right color of red, so I wouldn't be able to finish the painting, even though I did. So he called Marcus down. He grunted. So you don't have the right color of red. You could smell the alcohol from his breath. He took Marcus and he started hitting him, hitting his him, until blood started to drip from his nose, and eventually his lips started to tear open. He threw Marcus to the ground and continued to beat and kick him until he was a bloody mess. He took a can of booze and poured all over Marcus and walked off muttering something. Thanks, Brad Armstrong. Mom just turned a blind eye and started cleaning up the blood. Marcus sat there unconscious for a bit. I didn't help him up to his room. He didn't say anything. All he did was smile. He had a wide grin on his face. I stayed with him until he slept, fell asleep reading his book about cars. Uh, 
Uh, that's not good. We have no guidance, no survey, no nothing. <laughs> okay, it was just the angel. I thought I was about to die. Oh my god. I'm gonna die later, yeah, of course, but... But not now. It's guiding me. The song. The radio... Turn off, turn off the static. Wait. I think there's a figure in the room. The bedroom. Master bedroom. Shit. Screw you. Open that. They actually said this wasn't a very jump scary. I mean, it's kind of a jump scare game. Not, not that kind of jump scare game, though. Do I want to go up there? Something I want to do? I suppose I'm morbidly curious. Sister? Do- You're going in the closet. Do I follow you? No. Oh god. This is a- this is a step for a jump scare right here. Shit, lights went out. Death of two siblings. Two bodies were recovered after a fire erupted inside a suburban house near a local elementary school. The fire apparently started late at night, as neighbors were the ones to report the incident. Names have not been released, but the victims were identified to be a brother and sister in the late teens. The two were home alone with their mother. The mother was on a business trip. The email. The brother was going to high school and also worked a part-time job at a grocery. How the fire started is not clear, but the authorities have not ruled out foul play. According to investigators, a candle that was knocked over could have caused a tragedy. Officials have not ruled out foul play as a cause, but aren't suspicious of it due to the circumstances of the situation. Please don't crash as I open the phone. I think the survey thing is gone. I think that that's broken. That's the email about her coming back. So we're dead? Or did they only think we're dead? Careful, careful. Careful. Fuck! No! No! Closet. Closet. Bathroom. Close the door! Eight, nine, two, six, four. Two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Hey, water running. This is arguably uh, this is actually a really scary game. Yes, it does have the PT kind of vibe going. But it still executed pretty well. Nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six. Eight, nine, two. At least all the lights are on. Eight, nine. Two. 
six, four, eight, nine, two, 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 six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. What? Oh, it's the puzzle. That was nine. We have to go to the chalkboards. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two. That was. That was eight. That was nine. I did it in the wrong order. Eight, nine. So let's. Yeah, they reset it. Okay. Good. So there's eight. Go. Go. Goad. God is. God. God is. God is. Six. There's one in that. We saw the one portrait there. We're missing one chalkboard location. We need six. Like there's four. Okay. D. I suspect it might be downstairs. Mixed in with like a portrait or something. I'll be back for you. Kitchen, maybe? Could be in here, too. Here we go. EA. Colgiest. Six, four. Four. Eight, That's all of them. Nine, two, six, four. Well, that was obvious. Let's close the door. The screaming and crying, can you hear it too? Fraternity. If for no one more, I shall have one. Trapped inside the memories with Devil himself. I think we are dead. Shit. Everything, uh, probably all lights are all breaking. Little of note 4. There's only one Marcus note. So far. I can't move. Today I woke up and I can't really explain it. But my right hip just feels extremely stiff. I try to get out of my bed, but I can barely turn my body without feeling pain. My parents took me to the hospital just in case it was severe or life-threatening. But the staff seemed to be clues to what, actually I have, what I actually have. They said they'll need to complete further x-rays, possibly even use an MRI or to verify their diagnosis. Hopefully I won't have to pain or anything. I also had a really weird dream. I was alone in the house with Marcus, but for some reason he was always afraid of me. Every time I would try to get close to him, he would run away in fear. It was such a weird dream, because in a way it felt like it lasted forever. 
Ghost? Okay, this happened on October 1st, 2016. Here's 2015. Right? Can I check my emails? No. We're just going out. We're gonna probably die horribly. Um, I don't have high expectations for the future. Like, I'm not gonna be taking out any loans. Actually, no, I'm gonna take out some loans just to be a dick. But, I'm just saying, it ain't good. Pretty bad, not good. Very bad. Very not good. Does the survey work? I think the survey's broken. I think like that as a mechanic is gone now. Essentially. Like it's served its purpose, it's over. I highly suspect I gotta go downstairs. Oh, I get it now. So the other bedroom is where he had the sister. Probably. If this is Marcus's house. Maybe. Careful, careful. Shh, I hear it. Go from the kitchen. Go from the kitchen. Grab the notes. So everything was broken right here. Uh, it's probably in the wall behind me, knowing how this works. Marcus Note 2, May 17th. This is right after. My parents took Lilith to the hospital after my sister said she felt immobile around the hip. She said it felt completely stiff, as if all the muscles surrounding her hip had turned to bone. The other day, Dad threw me down the stairs because Lilith's painting weren't selling as much as they used to. He thought it was an entertaining way to encourage her to paint better, as he phrased it. Wow, I have dicks, parents. I dislocated my shoulder on the way down. After repositioning the joint back into the socket, I made a sling with some old rags I found in the closet. It still stings, but it should heal within a few weeks to a couple of months. How come my sister never reported this to the police? School isn't too bad. I'm working on this little project with some of my friends. We're trying to create our own braking system for a car. Something that can be controlled remotely. I wonder if I can reverse engineer it to do an opposite task and maybe cancel a braking system remotely. That'd be an interesting challenge. As long as I don't have to stay home, right? Why do you seem like he was a ghost? Oh, the dream! Okay, could be what's happening now. See, you had some difficulty in regards to diagnosing your daughter's specific condition. But we have concluded that it is hyperdysplasia officiscans progressivia. It is very rare, I, I murdered that. But severe condition where the patient's soft tissue, when repaired, becomes basically turning to bone. Also fine. This is due to a mutation in the repair mechanism of the body that results in this condition. There are treatment options to slow down the process of the condition, but I admit the future looks fairly grim. In all honesty, this is what will eventually happen. The disease will spread throughout her body until most of her soft tissue includes skinning, tendons, ligaments, even muscle will become ossified. The most we can do is provide medication or relieve the pain, but other than that, the condition's always been fatal. Your daughter might be able to make it to the age of 40, if she is lucky. Please let us know the direction you'd like to take. I mean... I mean, what? What do, what, what do we do? In that situation, like... Oh god. That room's pretty dark. I'm, I'm highly suspected that's where they want me to go. But I'm gonna scout around the corner. She might be in that closet. Okay. Do this tactical. Water's faucet's back on. Be safe about it. Be smart. Be safe, be smart. Okay. Shit. According to a recent...
recent poll, infidelity is at an all-time high. This may be due to marrying too young, lack of commitment, or even financial instability. Let us examine the story of Joseph and Mary Walker, the two married and more a daughter Lilith, who was very talented in many artistic mediums, especially in painting. Joseph and Mary also had a son named Marcus. Joseph worked as a construction worker, while Mary worked as a secretary for a local business. Soon after discovering Lilith's talents, her parents encouraged her greatly to continue and perfect her skills. Eventually a high enough demand for her paintings allowed the walkers to become financially stable, simply by selling Lilith's art. Both Joseph and Mary quit their jobs, as Lilith's paintings sold anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 a piece, depending on the buyer. Due to this high demand, Joseph and Mary began to live life far above their means, taking advantage of their gifted child in order to satisfy their own greed. That's not even that much, really. It started off with Joseph burning That's the problem. with cigarettes if Lilith refused to work. Slowly, the abuse became worse and more intense, until one episode landed Marcus in the hospital. Marcus had several bruises along with a dislocated arm. The family was forced to cover up the incident and no charges were filed. This abuse continued for a long time. Marcus grew accustomed to it. It was simply a part of his life, just as much as breathing or sleeping. After Lilith was diagnosed with a rare bone condition, everything changed. She lost her ability to paint, leading the family into a period of financial hardships. Joseph wasn't able to find work due to his alcoholism, but Mary was able to find a job at her old company. Her former employer kept in touch with her throughout the years. Tension began to build within the family. Marcus usually remained passive among family affairs, but the situation gave him much joy. It's a long story. They were suffering, and he knew it. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. Oh, he here we go. Have been happier. Here we he go. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. That was the Channel 12 News. Shit, here. Don't close it on. Close it. I'm gonna poke out. Dang damn it. Damn supernatural TV. Go for it. You wanna go? Come on. Come on in. I'm in here. You wanna come in? At this point you're actually kind of vaguely annoying me. I'm trying to watch anime. Don't you understand this? There's a lot of boobs and butts in here. You don't want to see this stuff, man. It's too hardcore for you. Just saying. Just saying. All right, I'm done. Pick up the note, Marcus. Pick up the note. 
Love Note 5. May 25th. My parents gave me the news. I have this condition called fibro dysplasia. Okay. Basically, it's a condition where my soft tissue, ligaments, tendon, muscles gradually turn to bone. They said that they'll eventually lose mobility in my arms, legs, necks, everywhere until I need to take care. I'll need a caretaker to basically do everything for me. Right now, I feel in my arms and torso. For now, I just sort of stay in my bed. It hurts to walk around. And I can't really exercise or damage my body in any way or else to speed up the process. I mean, I'm only 15, so this is a lot to take in. Knowing that I'll slowly become more and more immobile. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? I wish I could stop painting and that I wouldn't have to anymore. And this was the answer I received. This is why I never make statements like that. You never make statements like that. The best I could do was prescribe medication for the pain. A year from now, there was a good chance that I won't be able to walk. And I'll be in a wheelchair or worse. I just hope my family will be able to stable without my help. It'll be a pretty big burden. The other day I heard over my parents arguing. My, my mom brought up the idea of getting a divorce. I feel like this is all my fault. No, it's the fault of your alcoholic parents. No. Something's going down in downtown. This note's pretty bad. I overheard them talking about what Lilith's condition was. Apparently she has some sort of bone disorder. Basically her body keeps being more and more immobilized until she's basically paralyzed. The process can take a while, but it continually gets worse and worse. I seem very worried about it. As far as I know, Lilith won't be able to paint. What will it happen? Mom and Dad were screaming at each other the other day. I've never seen them argue like that. It was quite entertaining to see them bicker and yell. I had a wide grin across my face as I watched the spectacle. My parents have been trying to find work ever since they heard the news. But only my mom has been able to find a job with her old employer. Dad hasn't had any luck. This is quite an unfortunate situation. I did a bit more research on the condition and it seems perfectly incurable. My parents seem like they're in a state of panic. I've never seen them like this before. Frantic, scared, and unstable. I've never been more excited in my life. Gotta watch myself. There was definitely a shift in the force, if you know what I mean. The static won't turn off now. That's actually a pretty important sign. A bad times coming up ahead. <laughs> 